Hello everyone, my name is Kim. My name is Winston. And you are watching the, the Sous Vide Guys. Guys. Following on from our unboxing of the Aliso Vacuum Sealer Starter Pack, today we're going to demonstrate how well the VS95A Vacuum Sealer works. Yes, and we're going to show you four tests. Uh, the first two tests we're going to do is using this bag to do dry and moist sealing. Uh, the third one we're going to use is this oil and wine fresh keeper. Yeah. And the last demonstration we're going to show you is how we're going to use this pantry bag uh, for you to use at home. Check it out. And now we're going to demonstrate to you how to use the vacuum seal bags for a dry sealing. Okay, so we've got some grapes here that we're yep. going to use for the demonstration. Yep. So the first step is to put your food or your fruits into the vacuum seal bags. Okay, here comes the grapes. Okay, so after you put your grapes in here, you want to squeeze up as much air as you can first so that there's not a lot of air in the bag to begin with. Yep. And then you take your zip disc and to zip the bag up. Yeah. Or if you do not want to use the zip disc, you can also use your hands. Yeah. Well, Liso does recommend that you use the zip disc. And yep, you can see that it's sealed up fairly nicely. Yep. There's not much air in here. So now we are ready to start the vacuum sealing yeah. process. So, so the next step uh, to note, uh, or I mean for you to notice, make sure that the Liso vacuum sealer the light indication is on the dry uh, food type because you wouldn't want to use another function for this okay so what you do is uh, you light up the indication the indicator onto the vacuum seal and once it is in it will automatically start sealing the bag yep. no buttons to press once you slide it in the machine will start yep. take note that there is a stop vacuum button here and how you use this is if you have uh, delicate items, so like for example these grapes, yeah. if you feel like the pressure of uh, vacuum sealing is enough and you want to stop it, you can just press this to stop it so that it doesn't overly crush the yeah. items in the bag. So your, your fruits or your grape won't become pulp in the end. That's right. right. So let's start the process and let me show you how it's going to be done. So once it's done, you will be able to hear the two beeping sound and at the same time you are able to see the light indication uh, indicating done. Yep. So we press the stop vacuum button so because we were happy enough with the seal and we didn't want it to go too tightly and uh, well as you can see the Oliso VS95A did a very good job of sealing the item. Yeah. Yep. And where he has done the seal, you can see the mark here and that's the spot that they actually punched the hole, sucked the air out, and then resealed it over that same spot again. And uh, if you touch it, you can actually feel it's a bit warm, and that's where the seal has occurred. So yeah, it's done a very good job. And now we're gonna demonstrate to you how to do a moist sealing using the Oliso vacuum seal bags. So moist sealing is good for things like sous vide when you have uh, sauces or marinades or even just oil in the bag. Yep. So we prepared a uh, salmon to demonstrate how well the Oliso works yes. in this regard. So I think the first thing we'll do is I think we will season the salmon. Yep. So we have prepared a little bit of sea salt. So this is of course Typically what you will do is you're going to cook uh, salmon sous vide to so we'll salt it. Yeah. And then we are going to place the salmon in the bag. Okay. Okay. And 
and then we're going to add some extra virgin olive oil into the bag. You done that, you gonna push the air out of the bag. Okay, get rid of as much air as you can before you can start the sealing process. So, yes. so again, we use the zip disc. Yeah, or at home you prefer to use your hand by all means. Okay, so seal is done and you can see the salmon is in there yes okay so once I slide the bag into the vacuum sealer the vacuum sealer will start immediately so let's see what happens So again, once the vacuum seal is done, you will be able to hear the two beeps as well as the indication light. Yep, so the light shows that it's done. So we remove the salmon. Okay, you can see the seal is complete, but... But there's some, still some air pockets. Yeah, it's, I think it's a usable seal uh, if you're gonna sous vide, but it's not perfectly airtight. There's still a little bit of air in the device. Yep. Uh, I would imagine it's because there's a little bit of uh, moisture in the bag and that's caused the machine to not be able to suck up all the air as we saw with the grapes. Mm. Uh, yeah, so, but it, it is a decent enough job. You can still cook sous vide in this. Uh, so it's still good enough. Yep. And now we're going to demonstrate to you how to use the oil and wine fresh keeper. So other than uh, keeping fresh oils and wines, this also works very well for keeping fresh things like juices or sparkling water. Yep. So to use this, uh, we just first of all, we just need to attach this to the bottle. Yep. So you stick it in like this. Make sure it's not so that uh, there's no air going in while you're sealing. Yep. Right, the second part uh, is to attach the flexi tube to the vacuum sealer. So the, there's two ends, both ends is identical. So what you have to do is to attach one end to this port and make sure that uh, when you attach the flexi tube, the flexi tube indicator light is on because that will show that the air will be extracted from this end. Yep. On the other end, stick it into the oil and wine fresh keeper like this. And now you're good to go. Yes. So yes. the next thing you need to do is just to press on the button. And here we go. So you can hear the sound of the two beeps. This indicates that it is done. You can also see that there's a light uh, above the word done, uh, lighted up. So it shows that the bottle is properly sealed. Yep, and you just have to remove the flexi tube. And you can see there's an indicator on the top of the oil and wine fresh keeper that shows that it's properly sealed. Uh, and you can actually just give it a jig and you can tell that it's actually pretty well sealed. Yep. And now, when you want to pour yourself a drink, all you have to do is to remove the oil and wine fresh keeper, like this. Whoa. Yeah, you can hear how well this thing has sealed. Yeah. And um, yeah, get ready for your fresh drink. Yes. And now, we're going to demonstrate to you how to use the Oliso 
pantry bag. So the pantry bag is very good for dry goods, things like coffee beans uh, or oats or anything that's dry really. Uh, that's the beauty of this pantry bag. You can seal it over and over again indefinitely. Yes, so one good thing about this pantry bag is as what Kim has mentioned, you can seal it indefinitely. Unlike the, the rest of the Oliso vacuum seal bag, there is a limitation of how many times you can use it. But for this pantry bag, you can store it, you know, you can um, vacuum seal the bag and the content and then put it away. And whenever you want to uh, use it, just take out, scoop out the content or the servings that you want and then reseal it, re-vacuum it and put it back away. But yeah. But the downside to this uh, pantry bag is that it's not meant for freezer use. Uh, it's definitely not meant for cooking or sous vide or anything like that. Yes. It's strictly for dry goods and that's what you should be using it for. Yeah. Okay, let's see how well uh, this bag works. Yeah. So first of all, uh, we need to seal the bag. You can choose to use the Oliso zip disc that they provide or you can just use yeah, so let's see how well the zip disk works. So this is what you do. Okay, and that's yeah. really nice and tight. So the second step is to attach the flexi tube to the nozzle at the back of the pantry bag. There's a nozzle. Yeah, stick it in like this. Make sure it's snug. Yeah. You don't want to uh, mess up the vacuum sealing process. Okay, and once you're ready, you just press on this button like this. So again, once the vacuum is done, you will be able to hear the beeping sound from the smart vacuum sealer. At the same time, there is also a light indication showing that it's done. Yep, so what you have to do is remove the flexi tube and, and store this away. Yep, and you look at how well uh, the item has uh, sealed it and extracted all the air. This thing is very, very well done. Uh, it's You can see there's definitely no air in this. Yeah. Very, very good. And uh, now when you want to take out your serving of oats, this is what you do. You just have to peel open this and listen to this sound. Wow. Yeah. This so, really shows the vacuum seal. Yeah, so the vacuum seal has definitely done a very good job. It was perfectly airtight. Yeah, very good. And there you have it, that's our demonstration of the Oliso VS95A vacuum sealer. We feel that the vacuum sealer has done a great job in doing the oil and wine fresh keeper sealing, the pantry bag sealing, as well as the dry sealing. In terms of moist sealing, it did a decent job, however, there were still a little bit of air pockets in the bag. Uh, if you compare this against a chamber vacuum sealer, obviously a chamber vacuum sealer will do a better job. Of course. But you have to be aware that those devices cost many times more. Uh, in terms of what you're paying for, for the uh, Oliso VS95A, we would say it does more than an adequate job. Yes. So thank you so much for watching this video. Please do subscribe to our channel. And if you like what you saw today, please do us a favor and click on the like button below. And if you have any questions or you have any feedback, please feel free to let us know. So Suvitsu and Bon Appetit!